Greetings people of Earth, welcome back. My name is Jax and today we are talking about why being gay is weird. So, <clears throat> a bit of context. <sighs> I'm gay <laughs> and being gay is weird. There's your context. I have lived on this Earth for 27 years now and I feel as though I have truly been gay for maybe seven of those years. And some people might say, no, you were gay the whole time. Like you're born this way, blah, 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 blah. Cool, okay, sorry. <laughs> cool, that is not my experience. My experience is I have been gay for seven years. Um, I'm not planning on going back to being straight. I don't think you can, but I did not grow up thinking or knowing that I was gay. I did not have a gay perspective. I was never treated as if I was gay. And yeah, so I really feel as though I've only been gay for seven years and I am always learning new things about the process, the experience, the interactions you have with people, um, the dating culture, family relationships. I am forever learning about how to be gay and all of that stuff. A good example is the fact that I feel as though I had to say, some of you might be offended that I say I'm only seven years. The gay community is full of opinions. And if your opinion doesn't match what everyone else thinks, you get blasted online, you get criticized, whatever. Like me just saying, I feel as though I've only been gay for seven years is a controversial statement. And that is one of the things about being gay that is weird is that I feel as though any word that comes out of my mouth is controversial. It's a political point. It's a talking point. It's something people can criticize me for or undermine my existence or try and take away my rights or try and over-legitimize myself or whatever. That's one of the parts that I really don't like about being gay is how political and how everybody seems to have an opinion about the way I exist. And the only one that really matters is my own. You know, like I do not care what other people think, you know, like I will say what I think, I will have the opinions I have, but you will still get people who think that they can tell me how to live my life, who think that you're not representing the gay community in the proper way, Jax, like you're not doing this correctly, like I don't like how you said this or did that. And that is frustrating because... No, it's just, it's not, it's not the, it's not the reality. It's not the truth. Um, my truth is my truth. And so that's one of the things that's weird about being gay. Another thing is that honestly, sometimes it is just exhausting. Like it's exhausting having to come out to people. It's exhausting having to explain to people different things. People want to ask me questions. Sometimes I'm okay with it. Sometimes I'm really done with it. Like if it's, if it's someone I have a genuine relationship with, like a friend, I don't mind answering questions. When it's a random person, that's quite different. Um, I don't need you coming up to me and asking me if I'm a top or a bottom. I don't need you asking who the man in a relationship would be or if I like sports or if I like drag race or any of that stuff. That is just a really ju juvenile at this point. You know, like it's really, really stupid and it's exhausting and it's frustrating. Um, yeah, I guess another thing that just annoys me is just the general stereotypes. You know, people expect me to know how to have a sense of fashion, which I don't. I don't dress fashionably, and I've never claimed to dress fashionably. I wear what I like. Um, I've never watched an episode of Drag Race. I am not into that kind of stuff. I like farming and trucks and skiing and all kinds of different things. So... I don't know. It's just, it, it does get annoying. It gets frustrating at times. You know, I wouldn't change who I was at all. Um, I love who I love and I care about the people I care about, but it must be nice to be part of a majority where it's just not an issue. You know, it's just not a problem. You can just be who you want to be and there's no strange language or coded messages or expectations. You just get to exist as the 
the person or the thing that you are. So I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this because honestly, I, I, I hope it's not just me who just sometimes gets a bit fatigued with the whole being gay and gay culture and all of the little nuances and things that you have to do and say and I just get tired of them, you know, and I get tired of, you know, there's so many little things, you know, um, politics is one that really frustrates me. And when I talk about politics now, I'm talking about like left versus right ideology. I really hate that people just assume that I'm a very left wing person. Don't get me wrong. Um, I will be out in the streets fighting for people's rights. And like, I want the government as far away from my life and the way I live it as possible like regulating human existence, any of that kind of stuff. I have no time for that. However, I'm not a left-wing liberal. I'm not a right-wing person either. Like, don't, don't conflate this. But I just hate the assumption that, oh, he is gay. He must be super liberal. No, I'm pretty apolitical. I have some views either way. But I really get tired of this assumption that, oh, he must be super left-wing. No, I'm not. And then when I say that, a lot of gay people immediately think, oh, he must be super red, like red pill, like Republican. And suddenly then I'm the enemy as well, which I'm not. But I just hate that if you're not stupid, stupid liberal in the gay community, you must be the enemy. Like that's so dumb. That is the dumbest ideology you could have. And it infuriates me and it frustrates me so much that if you're not if you're not with us, you're against us. It's like, no, I'm just, I'm not with anybody. I'm not with the whole system at all, honey. Like, I don't want to be and I won't. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to stoop to this level of like political mudslinging. And yeah, I just get really frustrated with this like, you're with us or you're against us. And if you're against us, you are the devil. No, that's ridiculous. That is the dumbest way to lead a life is to box everybody into these categories. So I really don't like that. It's, it's one of those things that I, as you guys know, I steer clear of politics in general, but most of my involvement in politics is explaining to people, no, like I'm not, I, 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 I'm not political at all. Like I'm apolitical. I, I don't, ha I'm politically homeless. So that's, that's another thing that just, I don't know, frustrates me a little bit. Um, yeah, and then I guess the, you know, the aspect of being gay that we all talk about that we don't like is dating, how hard it is to do that, how hard it is to like go over to family and deal with, you know, that whole stereotypical thing. I don't have so much problem with that, but the whole dating culture and everything is just, you guys know, I talk about that way too much. So that's just, just remember that that is one of the bullet points in my little speech here about being gay and how it's annoying <laughs> and don't get me wrong like I know I know this video is quite different than my usual ones where I'm usually hyping something up or I'm talking about something very positive and uplifting but I'm not going to engage in sort of toxic positivity where I don't talk about the bad stuff and so this is an example of me being super honest with you guys and just leveling with you on a really human level and yeah, I'm sorry, but I think anybody who thinks being gay is just the easiest thing on the planet and there's no issues, you're living in a very privileged world because being gay is inherently difficult. It's hard. Just like being a part of any minority group, it is hard. You struggle with discrimination, alienation, um, all kinds of factors, you know, marginalization. We struggle with these things, you know, like I would probably never get to a point where I feel safe holding a man's hand while walking down the street. And so most straight people cannot relate to that whatsoever. So there are some factors that just need to be addressed. And like I said, I'm not going to engage in toxic positivity where everything is just perfect. No, there are things that need to change. There are things within the gay community itself that are really toxic and hurting people. And I will not contribute to the enlargement of that. I want to contribute to the to the betterment, to making the community a nicer, safer, happier place. And yeah, so that's basically what it is. 
feel free to comment what you think about being gay. Is it annoying? Do you have a good experience? I hope you do. I genuinely hope that you have a really positive experience, but many of us out there have struggled with friends, family, alienation, isolation, you know, hard times. Um, so thank you for your honesty. I will continue to do as, as honest a job as I can and I'm comfortable with, but for now, I shall leave it to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, and as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>